This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Yes, I'm stuck in the middle. Welcome back to the show. This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. I'm Joanne Sutton. Joining us in the studio today from BC Seniors Living Association, we have the Executive Director, Marlene Williams, along with Sam Zaitoun, who's an educator and a program specialist from Vancouver Premier College, and Reed Wildeman, Director of Education, from Vancouver Premier College. So today we've been talking about this brand new certificate program that's going to be available in the spring at Vancouver Premier College, but uh, we all know the benefits of hands-on experience as well. Marlene, you touched on that earlier about opportunities to, yes, to learn in a classroom, but to really uh, do some level of experience or practicum uh, on site of, uh, at a seniors living community. So let's talk about this option and have practicums actually been set up as part of the program. Reed, I'm sure you can answer that. Yeah, for sure. And again, uh, going back to the start, this was a key component that the BCSLA you know, definitely wanted to include and we felt strongly about as well. Our hospitality programs uh, do incorporate practicum components if the student wish. And much like any other professional program, teaching, nursing, you, you need some actual hands-on experience before you really take the plunge and go into it uh, full on. So we set up a practicum of 40 hours, uh, which is not too, too long, but we we decided it was just enough time for them to get a good sense of what different aspects of the retirement communities were like. And another key aspect of the practicum component is that we positioned it within the program. So they've completed uh, just over half of the coursework uh, which we felt was needed before they could get the most out of the practicum, but not all the way at the end, so that they would also you know, be able to do the practicum and really decide, is this for sure the career that I want to go into? And if not, they could still have the option of potentially withdrawing from the program without having to go all the way. Um, again, we don't think that's going to happen very often, but it was, you know, Marlene and the BCSLA definitely felt like, you know, people are going to know once they get on that practicum, there's going to be the odd person who says, you know what, this just isn't for me. Let's let's do it in the middle rather than right at the end. Well, and then that differs from a lot of other technical schools that offer practicums in this province as well and across Canada. But uh, Marlene, can you speak on behalf of BC Seniors Living? Uh, did you did you take this practicum opportunity uh, to the uh, senior communities in this province and and get any feedback, whether it would be welcomed or not? Well, yeah, <clears throat> we set this out to. Um... Um, all of our members and and our members now currently uh, take hospitality students they think there's colleges all over the province and small um, educational uh, facilities that that phone our retirement communities and say hey do you want a, a student for you know a month or so and so they were already doing it but it wasn't structured and we had um, put the uh, practicum model out there a couple of years ago with, with Thompson River University because it does not as well need a practicum for its particular um, online certificate that it does. So we had a certain amount of retirement communities that were already participating in that and so it was very easy for us to go out there and say, okay, now we have one in the Lower Mainland. Um, and so we need a lot of the Lower Mainland communities to step forward and say, you know what, I will take a student because you know what, this could be a potential, you know, employee for me and we had probably in about 10 days 37 communities come forward and say oh yeah I'll take one I'll take one I'll take oh, one and so they're now sitting in the wings waiting for a couple of our students in the next three or four months to uh, finish their first you know f three or four courses and then um, it'll just be a question of saying to the student okay well where do you live oh well I actually live in Coquitlam well let's see if there's a Coquitlam retirement community that would like to take you for your first you know two or three days of your practicum and and, and the practicum I think can be structured in such a way that that they can just work Saturdays or Sundays or if they have to get over a two-week period 12 hours in they can do the 12 hours as they like and as they work it out with the retirement community mm -hmm. because we wanted it to be flexible for the community and flexible for the students flexible so we still the want them well. to cover certain components within the practicum but we didn't want it to say okay today you're going in and all day you're working in on the front desk well no that's not kind of what we wanted and 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 we also don't want to disrupt the seniors lives because after all this is the seniors home and everybody that's working there or visiting there is visiting the seniors home they are allowing us to come into their home so we want the practicum to fit in and have you know the student and the community recognize that part of it as well. I just love the collaboration that seems to have come together between all of the elements involved with uh, 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 creating this program. Uh, you must be really pleased with it as well, Reid. We are. And, and 
with my background in education, one of the hardest things for most programs, classes, groups of people to do is collaborate effectively. It's not easy to do all the time, different personality types, different goals, different agendas. But from day one, this was a collaboration and it was it was hand in hand, step by step together along the way. And it's it's really worked out very well, I think, for, for all parties involved and made it a very positive experience for us and makes me feel very confident about the success of the program because it is, it's supported by collaboration of multiple people, lots of input, lots of professional input, et cetera. So it's a seniors living management certificate. certificate. That's correct. It's going to be offered at Vancouver Premier College. So basically you've created this program to help fulfill a need in the industry. But what does this mean to someone who's actually registering for this program? Like if I want to go into the industry, I'm going to take the courses. What does it mean for me? I think uh, a lot of a lot of different things, depending on where you're coming from. It could be a, a start at a new career for someone who's looking to make a shift, maybe from a downturn in their industry they're coming from. It could be uh, someone right out of high school who is thinking long term, and this is an actual career that I can start in and be successful in for a long time because the jobs will be there. The demographics definitely support that with our aging population. Or it could be someone who's already working in one of the senior living communities but wants to, you know, some professional development, maybe wants to advance their career into a supervisory or a leadership type role. This will give them that extra bit of training, that confidence, that, you know, that extra experience from our instructors to maybe help them take that next step along the way. So, Sam, this is a brand new career for you in some ways. Uh, you have a huge history in the uh, hospitality industry, and now you're going to be one of the um, program specialists, the educator. You're going to teach some of these programs for the Senior Living Management uh, Certificate. Uh, what's so exciting about that for you? Well, the good thing is I have one year experience in teaching because it's not as easy as one thing. Uh, it really is d doing something and training people to do something and teaching people. Uh, I, I think there's three different things, but uh, I, I think with that one year under my belt now, I feel a lot more comfortable. But r really, as I said earlier, I think this is about, uh, for me personally, and, and I hope and I'm sure it will be for other instructors that we, we're going to teach that, is about really sharing the experience. Uh, saying something out of a book or something, um, it's one thing. Um, for example, I'll tell you, the, the course that, um, that we talked about earlier, the concept of selling to seniors, every company have their own way of how to sell and how to fill up the place and how to do this. But at the end of the day, w when you um, attend a class with somebody for nine weeks and share some of the key concepts and some of the key items that will help it to succeed and, and explain it. Y you can't really buy in any book the different experiences that you went through personally when you do a tour. When somebody call you and say, I didn't like this about your building. Uh, for somebody to take the time to call you, the general manager say, I didn't like this. Uh, to me, at least, the they can also not call me again, never show up, but to call and to, uh, to get an understanding and to invite them back. These are the experiences that are not in books. And, and I think that is the, the beauty of it. And this is the, at least for me, it's a sense of excitement. It's sharing the experience. And uh, w once again, it's this is what the book tells you. And this is how the other 20 ways, if you can really look at it, and uh, cars in the back of your pocket and use it when the time is right okay. uh, to deal with the situation. It's almost <coughs> like the book of life and learning to read between the lines. You can teach so much, but there's Correct. so many other things you need to go away with. So maybe you can just tell us your final thoughts. Yeah, I think it was very important um, from an industry perspective that in, in 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 the direction that you know the senior living industry is going that we did have a couple of different certificate programs and options available for people to choose senior living as their career choice but from a membership perspective you know we have uh, quite a wide diversity in our membership and we have lots of very large companies like Chartwell who has their own university and you know we're very and such that have their own mentorship program and it's very structured and very you know put in place and it's and and it's there for the employees but we have about 60 percent of our membership that are smaller communities that that that, that, that the either they've had staff working for them for a very long time and as reed said they just would like to now get 
some further education and maybe have a designation behind their name to say, yes, I do have a senior living management certificate, but also more so for somebody to say, you know what, I'm probably going to retire in five years. I need someone to take over for me. Who can I take from my staff and mentor? And how do I do that? Because the smaller communities don't have the time to, to stop and do training and education and, and they usually don't have the resources. And so this is a great way for a community to step forward and say, you know what, Barbara is phenomenal. She'd be a great replacement to me in two to three years when I retire. I'm going to send Barbara to this this certificate program so she will be ready and able and, and then take her own personal perspective and be able to come over and take my job as a supervisor, as the general manager, as the, you know, as, you know assisted living manager, or whatever the case may be. So that was important for us, too, to have an, a resource for our members to access to help them run their community better. It's all a great support. I just want to say thanks to all three of you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. You're listening to Boomer Life on CL 650 and joining us in the studio today. Part of this great conversation has been uh, our executive director from BC Seniors Living Association, Marlene Williams, along with Sam Zaitun, educator and program specialist and uh, a new teacher for the Vancouver Premier College. We also have Reed Wildeman with us. Uh, the Director of Education from Vancouver Premier College and sharing all your insights on the new Senior Living Management Certificate Program. It's going to be available in April. I look forward to meeting a couple of graduates from that program because <laughs> I have a feeling we'll all be speaking again. Of course, you can always get more information online at bcsla.ca. This is Boomer Life on CL650.